Hello guys, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to work with forms and various form elements in React.js So I've just created this uh, new project called form with the npx create react app command So go ahead and create a new react project, start a server and open up a new browser Then go ahead and go to source and open up the app.js folder And we're just going to make some changes here to this uh, basic component, the app component, which is going to be the component we will be working from. So we can remove everything between the header and write all the code here. We're also going to change this component to a class-based app. So class app extends react.component. Since it's a class-based app, we're also going to need to and the return in a render method. You can also go ahead and remove the logo because we won't be needing it. So let's just check that everything seems to be working. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to define a constructor, which is going to contain the values that we're going to save for the form. We will create a very simple form using name, surname, and favorite dog, which the user can input and select. So let's go ahead and create a constructor method. We're going to pass in props and then call super props to access the parent. Then we're going to define the state of this component. We're going to say name, surname, and let's say favorite dog. Let's set it to an initial value of 1. So this property is going to hold the name, surname, and then favorite dog. And this is going to be a text input, a text input, and a select list. All right? In the form we will create. So now that's done. Let's go ahead and start creating the actual form. So in React.js, we use something called controlled components. In HTML, uh, form elements such as input and text area checkboxes and so on typically maintain their own state. Now let React control these elements instead. That's why it's called control components. So let's start here by defining a form. It takes a prop called on submit. And on submit, we're gonna call e, and then a function we're gonna define later which is called handle submit and we're gonna pass in e here I'm gonna explain what this e is later and let's close off the form down here I'm also gonna go ahead and find this method up here and we will write some code in it in just a couple of minutes Then let's go ahead and wrap each form element in a div just to make it uh, on a new line. We're going to start by adding an input of type text. This is going to be for the name. We can also define a placeholder. Let's say placeholder equals with name. We also need a value uh, which is going to be this dot state of name. So this value right here, right? It's initially set to nothing. So the field will be empty in the beginning. I'm just gonna set an onChange method here. So e again we're gonna pass in e and then call this dot handle change. And let's pass in e dot target dot value direct directly here. We're also gonna reuse this handle handle change for each element. So we can also define the prop here. Uh, so on this, in this case, it's name. So we're gonna set this dynamically for the state later when we create this method here. So let's go ahead and close off the input and define the method here yeah, so nothing crashes. So we got the prop there, and then the val for value. Right, so this is why it's called a 
control component because we're setting the value of the input by using our predefined value here which can be changed dynamically we're also changing this value then with the unchange uh, prop right and let's just see that everything works yes we got this very simple text input so go ahead and copy this and we're gonna reuse it for surname then the value of the surname is gonna be surname from the state of course and we're gonna use the same method handle change but the prop we're passing is gonna be surname instead which will reference the surname in the state all right i'm also gonna go ahead and create a very simple select list so select uh, and same thing here we're gonna pass in a value and the value of the select list is gonna be favorite dog and an onChange method which is always a little, uh, sorry uh, also gonna call the handle change method and then the prop is gonna be favorite dog to reference the state prop and the value is gonna be e.target.value let's open that close it down here and we're also gonna need a couple of options here of course so option value uh, equals with one and let's say dog one and let's just copy this so option value two Three and four. So dog two, three, four. All right. So when we're calling the handler change method from the select list, the e dot target dot value is gonna contain these parameters depending on these values depending on what the user selects. Right. So as you can see now we got a uh, name input, we got a uh, surname and we also got favorite dog select list. All that's missing now is a uh, submit button. So let's go ahead and create an input type of submit so we can use it to submit the form. And value let's say submit form. So there we go, there we, go. we got a very basic form here. So now that's done, we're gonna go ahead and create the actual uh, code for the submit and handle change methods. So let's start with the handle submit. So this value here, E, is actually a syn syn synthetic event, it's called. It's a React.js cross browser wrapper around the browser's native event. So we can go ahead and console.log E open up inspector here and console so let's just try here what happens if we click submit form as you can see the browser refreshes because that's the default action so first we're going to do is we're going to say e.prevent default and now we should get our console.log so this will pre prevent the default browser action submit form and you can see this uh, synthetic event being logged out here. Uh, and here you can see the function we're calling, prevent default. So you can actually check what methods you can call on this syn synthetic event, all right? So what we want to do in the handle submit is we're gonna gather the data from the form. So let's create a new object called data and name is this dot state dot name surname this dot state dot surname and what else do we have we have the favorite dog this dot state dot favorite dog and let's go ahead and console dot log the data so let's type something here 
something here, you can see nothing's happening. So we're just gonna get the default values here, right? Now that's because we haven't defined what's gonna happen with the form elements when we use the onChange method, all right? Since these are control components, we're gonna have to do that ourselves. So as you can see here, we call it handler change, um, the property and then the value. So all we have to do here is say this that set state, which is a function, and we're setting the prop dynamically, and the prop equals to the value, right? So let's open it up now and try name John surname though dog two is our favorite dog, and click submit form. And now you can see we're getting the name, surname, and the favorite dog. All right. So that's some information about control components and the synthetic event in React.js and how to use forms. And this all goes for all form elements. Uh, the basic rules are the same for them all when you use the control components. So thank you and bye bye.